Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the tinker day, kind of late start. Man, I'm just dragging the day, but anyway, we out here at James's S70. Need to put this back together. Now, I had cut the front of a C70 out of a car, and he had a guy, you know, came and welded it onto this car, and he did what he called a plum job, come across the front of the hood, and he did his best to center this piece in the car so that when the bumper was put on it would be straight so I'm here to put the rest of the stuff back together and get this car back on the road first thing I want to do is take the radiator support and epoxy it to the radiator. This broke off in the accident. Didn't break the radiator, but it did break the support, and we will need this to mount the radiator back in the car. I should have brought some ramps to drive the car up on ramps, but I failed to do that, so it's gonna be a little tricky getting a radiator in there without ramps. I'm gonna have to use a jack. And this, I guess, is to that light back there that got torn off, or I had to cut it off to get the wire harness stuff back so he could do his welding and stuff. He used some metal from bed frame and stuff to get all that welded back up. Anyway, I also want to epoxy this on this front clip piece here because I was taking the horns off so I wouldn't pay for them at the junkyard, and this tore off of this front clip so let me find my epoxy get those two things epoxy and then get this thing going back together i got that piece epoxied in there and i got the piece on the radiator drying over there and setting now i'm gonna undo this wire harness and hook it back up so i got this ecu box taken apart i'm gonna plug that in lock that back together clip it down in there and reset secure this ground wire to the frame right there. Make sure that's clipped all the way down. You got a tab there, tab there, tab there, tabs up the side. Make sure this is clipped all the way down before you do that. Make sure your wires are loose and acceptable. Now I'm gonna put this ground wire in right here. I have the air box tray in. Those things are busted off, probably been busted off forever. Got the ground wire hooked up. Got the SAS pump mounted back in. Got it plugged in. Now I'm going to hook up the vacuum line back on that. Ugh. And keep on stepping. Have the wire harness laid back in here. Got one of the securing nuts there, securing nuts there. Got the hood latch in. I'm missing a securing nut for there, so I got to find one of those. Next, I'm going to hook the battery tray up and make sure I hook up the cruise stuff to it. Wire harness to the cruise pump has wires eating up the rubber stuff. So we plugged each prong in and now we're going to slide the connector housing on. Battery tray is not lined up perfect. I got a hole there. A busted up hole there, but the bolt hole still not lined up. So somehow, these bolt holes are not the spread that they used to have, and the tip is barely in. So this part of this inner fender apron is pushed out, it needs to be pushed in some, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, hopefully, even though this battery tray is now cocked back a little bit, I'll still be able to get the battery and the air box in without interference with each other. Somehow both of our holes that hold the battery tray down are damaged. The threads are damaged. 
and they're damaging the bolts as I try to put the bolts in them, both holes. So I'm going to run a thread chaser down the nose to re-thread those holes. I ordered it last night, hadn't gotten to me yet. I'll get it tonight and I'll come back and chase these later. In the meantime, I'm just gonna set the battery tray in place and get one of these bolts started in the hole to hold it in place until I get back here with probably another battery tray and two fresh bolts to put that in properly. I decided to put the radiator in since I don't have ramp before I got this front clip on. I got this side tightened down. I got this side supported because I'm not confident in the curing of that epoxy over there yet. So I had to take this SAS pump loose again so that I can get this in here right with it on the ground. If you ever take the radiator in and out from the top with the car on the ground, you'll normally have to move that SAS pump. So I got it in, I got the computer box in, the computer's in, I'm gonna put the lid on that. Next, I'm gonna put this front clip across here in there and hook up the horns and the hood cables and all of that stuff. This looked like it had windshield wipers as well, but I'm not hooking those back up. I just connected those. So let me go ahead and put that in here and keep moving forward. I think I'm also going to block off the oil cooler lines since they're disconnected from the radiator and it won't be long before they'll be leaking too. Well, to my surprise, that 10 millimeter bolt has already been removed from these oil cooler lines, so that should be easy. Let me go ahead and do that next. I got the bumper, I guess, mostly on. It is clipped in the plastic clips. However, the fender well got torn, so I need to get a fender well for this side over here to secure that. Then I got a bolt in the bumper here, but I don't have a bolt to put in the bumper on this side. So I need to get a bolt. I just don't know what I did with it. Maybe in the back of my car, maybe here, maybe there. I don't know where it is, but I need to do that. I do have a headlight for it. I do have two corner lights for it. Now this corner light came apart I think as well as the other one. So, need to get those corner lights put together. And I'm actually out of time for tonight. I gotta get a grill, so I'm gonna bring a grill tomorrow. I'm gonna bring a couple of clips for this hood blanket. I'm gonna bring a bolt for that bumper. And then I should be able to finish putting this together probably two hours worth so I'm gonna shut it down for the night I'm gonna take my tools because I don't think this garage is secure and I need my tools secure don't need those coming up missing so let me pack it up and look forward to heading back here tomorrow morning if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.